All right, it's time for Eric Place City Skylines 2, uh, Milford County. Hey there, guys. Um, so what I really want to focus on first is, um, well, what I want to focus on is, is mass transit. But before I do that, I kind of wanted to focus on the education here. Um, and, and even before that, I want to see if I can fix the situation that I was having uh, yesterday with the um, transit. I posted on Reddit and someone says probably the pillars, which is what I guessed uh, yesterday. So, um, first things first, let me turn the desktop audio back on. I didn't want that to interrupt any of the pre-streaming stuff. I should really hotkey that, but um, so it goes. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at the different um, schools we have here. Let me make it easier by doing that. All right, so um, here at Kent Square, we are already full. It looks like we don't have the capacity we need in general for the um, for the city. Um, so I'm gonna come over here and the school. They have an extension wing I can build. They've got a gymnasium. Um, question is what makes more well so we do have another one here okay so looks like we are um overall pretty pretty full and we've got schools kind of everywhere so um so we got one there we've got one here all right um so i guess let's just go one by one starting here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and restart this restart the sim. Um, so this one here, the extension wing, uh, could go. Realistically, you wouldn't have kids crossing the street though. That's kind of bonkers. Um, uh, shoot. Well. All right, so here's what we'll do. We will, let me just take another look. Oh, yeah, that's still across the street though. Um, do we just make another school, maybe? We need another, just, here we go. We've got, what's here? Let me see what we've got here. Nothing. All right, we'll put a school here then. This little parky area. We'll put a small entry school right here. Um, this school we will also limit to um, Kent Square. And uh, let's see. So if this is uh, Kent, we'll call this Lois Elementary School. All right, so that should start. Oh, that didn't take. I think I had to hit enter. There we go. All right, so <coughs> that's taken care of there. Got our cargo train going by. All right. Um, so it's going to take some time um, for that to even out. High school is fine. Let's turn the overlay back on. All right, so coming over here, this school is full. We can add our extension wing to it. All right. Um, this school here, we can add our, no, we cannot. We've already extended this one. All right. And this one does Willow, Willow Corner, Sunnyside View and Meadow Acres. This one here is full. So we've got, oh, that's a college, okay. So we'll get to the higher education in a minute. So high school or or Willow Corner, Sunnyside View, and Meadow Acres. All right. Um, that seems. Oh, you know what? Because at the time, I just had the one. High school for this whole area. 
This one here. All right, um, urban, urban high school. This one is for also for Meadow Acres, and it's already full in Bedford End. All right, so I think what makes sense is we will we're gonna cut Meadow Acres out of this high school. Um, so we'll revisit this after the sim runs a little bit. Um, this urban elementary school is almost full. We're going to add the upper level as well as the playground. Um, and this one is Sunnyside View. Oh, there may already be one with that name though. Let me see. No. All right. So this will be Sunnyside View. Okay. Um, this medical campus is almost full but not quite all right um so this let's see this high school has some capacity now okay all right this elementary school has a little more all right so this small elementary school is full this high school is not this one is okay now at least temporarily so we're going to come over here and this one Let's give it, um, let's give it an extension wing. Um, here we're further away from the big traffic area, so, um, I'm okay having it be there. Okay. Um, so that should help a little. Um, all right, now if we come over to this high school here, uh, this one's fine. This elementary is almost full. This one is just for Emerson Terrace. All right. Um, so the small one can fit 400. Um, the regular size one, a thousand. So, 400 versus 1,000, but we need more space. Um, I guess we could... Let me think here. If we were to put it... Yeah, does it? Or not, I think not quite is the answer, but hard to say because we have the other school here. Um, let's see. Yeah, it probably doesn't then, right? Yeah, okay. So, then the question becomes where do we put another school? Maybe we put one off of Briarwood, I guess. Let's see. All right, we're gonna lock this one to Emerson Terrace. All right, is there some kind of bug that's like just filling these schools or was there that much demand? Holy moly. Um, This will be uh, real yard elementary school. All right. Um, back to the school overlay. All right. This one here is almost, but not a hundred percent full. This one, uh, is ready for an upgrade. Um, this one here. Definitely needs an upgrade. All right, this one. 
is fine. This one is fine. All right, so now we go back to the need for another college. This one having already basically been filled up. So I think that once I figure out um, <coughs> this is Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike what I'm doing here, music classical has always been you know what? I'll just ex I'm going to extend Washington Street or whatever street is back here, maybe. Only their imaginations as guides. Because no one's really going to want to live there anyway. Can we grab a college? Too big. On this side. But let us not tarry. All right. On to the next episode. A housing shortage is driving up prices. All right. Cool. That's right, Glenda. So that should help. All right. Did we lock the district on this college campus over here? We have it only operating on Sunnyside. All right. So this one, I'm going to say. A program to desire certain Sunny, Meadow, Sterling, Spring, Bedford, Earl, Willow, and, and Emerson. Okay. Alright, so now let's take a look at mass transit. So the first thing I want to do is I want to revamp what I did with my, um, whatchamacallit, my, uh, light rail. Uh, so most of my lines are not getting any usage. So, I think it's time. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during... Time to fix this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a line that goes this way. And then I'm going to have another line that just goes up and back, all the way back to there and back. Um, so let's get rid of Willow Corner. Let's get rid of sunny side view. All right, and then we've got residential to Riverside, which is green. That's over here, I think. All right. Maybe not. Maybe I thought it was though. Where the heck is this one? It's over here somewhere. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa. It's got all the vehicles. Holy moly. No, those are just a million stops. Okay. This is, yeah, okay. So it's on this side. That's what I thought. All right. So let's redo this. So we have it going on the left and the right. And then we have, um, what's this pink or light green? It's nothing with this though. I don't think, is it? No. All right, so we're going to have our tram that runs back and forth here. Um, they're going back in for repairs or whatever. Uh, where do I have stops? Let's see. Probably if I do this. Yeah, there we go. Oops, wrong one, though. Okay, so we've got stops here. We've got stops here. Got stops here and here. All right, I think this is probably stopping way too often I'm gonna think what makes sense um all right let's get rid of these stops here um so we're okay so we've got stops back here Got to stop right here where people can get off this subway or onto a subway. Um, are those too far now? They might be. Hmm. All right, this one though, this one needs to go. All right. 
For sure we need some over here by these businesses. Although it is kind of duplicating this subway line, but we may eventually deal with that as well. For now though. Uh, that's right, we need tracks. Um, additionally, I think we can get rid of all these tracks here. We're not doing this. We're not doing a forced loop anymore. <laughs> This should hopefully improve traffic as well. We'll see. All right, we'll leave that there for now. Ah, okay. That's right. We had it going all the way over here, but I think that was probably a mistake. Uh, I think we want this to actually be, uh, if we're going this far, I probably want it to be a, well, let me think. What do I want? What do I want? Do I want it to go all the way out here? <laughs> No, I think I think we want more of a simple a simple system. Simpler system, I should say. Alright. If I if I redo something like this, I'll I'll reconsider what I'm what I'm doing with it. All right, back to this. I had this in a mistaken notion that I actually needed to go in a complete circle. But guess what? You don't. All right. All right, so let's get rid of this here. All right, cool. More of this silliness here. All right, so we come out right onto traffic. Do we want to come out right on? Well, we did create this pad just for this to be here. I think we'll let it be. All right, so, so yeah, we've got a subway stop there. So we've got, we've, I remember now, we've got our little loop uh, with the subway. Um, hmm. We'll have to check on mail eventually. Um, look at all these cars. Don't understand what's traffic jam about what's going on here because there's no one in their way. I guess they're trying to decide Oh, this really should be three lanes here. I think I couldn't for some reason. Uh, let me give it a shot. Three lanes, replacement mode. Yeah, it was because of that. All right, um, I'll have to look at that later. One thing at a time. All right, so let's go back to our stops. See what makes sense. So, um, I'm going to, can I? Can I drag that? Nope. 
All right, well, we'll put them right there. And we'll say, excuse me, but there's too many of you here. All right, um, let me get rid of that one. And, all right, if this is the beginning of our line, we only really need one. So we'll do that. Um, so I can pick up people here. Let's see, maybe we have a stop about here. Let's see, we don't want it to block cross traffic, right? And so from there, maybe, maybe here. Okay, so we've got our two stops there. Or may, do we need two or do they just get off on either side? I'm not entirely sure. I guess, I guess when we have it like this, it's fine. All right, so then we cross this busy intersection. We get over here near the uh, metro stop. So I think that's better now. All right, so then we come over here and we do this side. All right, then go there's nothing here no reason to get off here and then over here we've got both a metro station and um uh doo -doo -doo -doo. and the sub uh, and the commercial so let's get rid of that and on this side let's get rid of that all right, and then what I need to do is go one way and get rid of that. That was supposed to fix it, wasn't it? Did we lose our turnaround? Oh, we got to go a little bit further? Is that what it is? Shoot, I just saw City Planner plays do this today. All right, did that fix it? Kind of. that why doesn't that create the the back and forthness is it where this is placed oh is it because this one doesn't have a let me see here. Does that fix things? So now if I have that there... Get rid of that side. And then... Get rid of that side. There we go, finally. All right, so now it's time to actually make our route. So we're going to start here. We're going to go this side. This side. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor... This side. Conditions. 
Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. This is Second Moon with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Before we dive into our next... All right, so now we head back. ...a few memento morris to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work. For our newer, less able listeners... First, we will be dancing through the al dent section before entering the slower Largo movement, finally, then savoring the vivacious anti-pasto movement. So, without further ado, let's raise the curtain. Okay, cool. We've got and that one going. Our main feature story. The commercial district is booming. All right, this will be... ...attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. Sunny side. For designer shoes while sipping a fancy uh, Java mate. What road is this actually? Elm Street. Good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back. <coughs> we're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in this the one city. Can be red. Maintenance services have already been. All right, so now. should return to normal. But if what I wanted to do was have one that goes right back. If you're in it, you uh, uh, already know about it. No use reminding you. I already have my tracks here, right? Yeah. Drive safe. Um, do we go past there? No, I'm gonna say that is probably. Uh, oh, da -da -da -da. that's probably not advisable from the point of view of traffic. Um, so maybe we just stop here. All right, let's see. Do do do. Stops. See what we've got currently. All right. All right. Well, these stops should. No, these don't happen to be anywhere. Going now. Going. This way. Looks like there might be lines on here. Invalid shape, huh? Oh, there are definitely some there. back to this. Let's see here. Alright. So we've got... I think I'm going to make this part of the line so people have a place to switch. This one's probably too close. Um... Oh. 
looks like we don't really have all that far to go if we're not going to interfere with traffic on the traffic circles. Um, so... Maybe I just abandon this plan then. So we'll just only we'll just have the one. At least opens up some more lanes. Um, okay. So that takes care of the tram for this area. Uh, so now I wanted to focus on buses. So we've got our bus depot somewhere back here. I guess the location has changed as the city's grown up around it. Alright, so we've got a bunch of employees here. We've got a whole bunch of buses in use. Um, so... Let's see what we've got going here for lines. All right, we've kind of have a bit of a mess here, I think. All right, so what is this? This is subway. Holy moly, we got a lot of people riding the subways and I've not even begun to optimize it. Um, all right. So I, what I think I want to do is a like a hub and spoke model type of situation here. Um, so the question then becomes, where do I put my spoke? I mean, my hub. Uh, one argument would be to centrally locate it. Another would be to have it where you can easily get onto a collector or something. Um, so Somewhere around here makes sense, except this is prime real estate. Maybe somewhere back here, like off of here. Um, that's a little off kilter of where I'd like to be, but it does allow for loading um, away from away from. Uh, the main street. I'm um, just kind of taking a look at the city. So I don't think <coughs> from this location, I would try to exit the city. I know we've got a bus station over here. Um, all right, so let's let's um, let's figure this out. Let's see. What do we have here, if anything? So we've got our um, post office here, I believe, our small post office. Um, if we were to click on this guy. Um. Does this take up more space? No. It just is a in-the-building upgrade. Alright. So, I think what I'm gonna do is... Put a small, or maybe large, let's see, bus station here. Let's see, large is insanely large, so let's go with small. How many lines does this have? Three lines? Is that right? Alright, let's see. I'm going to put it here. And let's take a look at our potential upgrades. So we've got... Taxi stop, why not? We've got extra lines. And we've got station services, which we'll put um, up here. All right, so now that we've got this situation, 
when I take a look at our bus lines. We've got a bunch of these. All right, so Sunnyside View actually has a lot of people on it, which is pretty incredible for how unoptimized it is, or at least that I believe it is. So let's see, Sunnyside View. Let's take a look at this guy. So this is the light color. It's got three vehicles. It's carrying a bunch of people. All right, so if we were to say, bring me here, it's... It's this one, right? So it's going around all of Sunnyside in a kind of... Oh, that's right. This one had to be a little bit odd because I have... Um, I have a lot of one-ways. Um, Inside of you. Okay. So... Right, I'm gonna pause this. Oops, wrong button. All right, Briarwood is not a one way. All right, I think there is definitely something to be said for this loop, but question is, are my stops in the right place? So we have going back and forth here, we've got our um, our tram. <laughs> Over here we've got our subway. Over here somewhere we've got our train. Oh, we do stop at the train station. That's good. Um... I may not have done my counterclockwise loop on this one, is what it looks like. Um, let's see here. Alright, so... There we go. Um... Let's see, sunny side. So here we've got. Just trying to take in what might make sense. So one of the things that City, so I was watching City Planner plays. He talked about a uh, transit hierarchy, um, which is similar to the road hier hierarchy uh, that we've got going on. So I think what I want to do just to make things make a bit more sense is maybe kind of redo redo things a little bit here um so sunny side if we're if we're kind of doing our so we can kind of do any the same thing we can do with any um with any other road uh, line like um, subways or whatever, we can have it there and back, and we can also have um. Local public service announcement. Holy moly! This college is full already. All right. Um. So I think I might do stuff like that as well. Taking the pulse of the city. So, Kim, what's the word on the street? Tell us what you're hearing. It's more what I'm smelling, Glenda. I have to say, it just plain stinks around here. Gross. And these concerned citizens agree. That's hardly news. There hasn't been any trash collection for who knows how long. There's rotting food, dirty diapers, fish guts, and... Oh, God, I, I, I can't stand to think about it, let alone smell it. And the piles of... Just All right, so if we basically have like a sunny side, and then we do maybe from here we do like a Willow Corner Kent Square back to here, 
industry um. in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. No yeah, I think this whole area is kind of primed for buses, and then subway, I think, would kind of be like from this region to this region, maybe, or like, you know, kind of like do 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 and then coming in or, or like that. I think I've got my stations a little too close together, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Let's let's worry about buses. So let's see. Um, or our loop. I want to start it here and then we'll go. Let's see. Is this a one way? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, it is a one-way, which kind of, um, maybe, but the, here's a two-way, so it doesn't completely limit things in terms of running a counterclockwise service. It just means we have to be a little more careful with what we're doing. Um, all right. I think for lack of, con to reduce confusion, I should probably, um, come in here. Go to sunny side view. Delete that line. And delete sunny side one. Um, let's see. Uh, universe. Let me just see where these things are. So, university loop. All right, that makes sense. Um, I'm just going to do uh, MCU University, just in case there's other universities later. Uh, let's start at the top, actually. Um, Barlow is Barlow. That makes sense. All right, where's bus line number eight? That's got a F ton of buses on it. Um, this is... Bird song glade. All right. Um, bus line 10, which is pretty heavily utilized, which is nice. Um, this is another sunny side view. Goodness gracious. So many sunny side lines. Probably, probably didn't need so many, but we'll figure that out momentarily. All right. Um, Let's see here. Birds on Glade, Birds on Glade. Um, bus line 11 is also a sunny side. I went a little nuts here, didn't I? Uh, or maybe because I wasn't naming them, I didn't realize. All right, Johnson Glen, Johnson Glen, University, Orchard Train, Station Industrial. Uh, all right, and then residential to Tram, which is where this is probably over here that's what i thought uh we'll, we'll leave that alone for now okay so coming back to sunnyside um nope i lost my way where are we coming back to sunnyside um all right again to make life simpler let's get rid of what we've got at the moment Right, and what we want to do is um, essentially get people from residential to wherever they want to go. We don't want to um, don't want to uh, you know do the same thing the trams are doing. We don't necessarily. All right, we'll leave. Uh, by the train station, we'll leave that because we're going to want that for sure. Um, yeah, we don't want to mimic the... We want to allow people to get off at the subway, but we don't want to mimic what the subway is doing necessarily. Uh, everyone's so sad. More up here. Yeah, I had this... Perhaps wrong headed thought that I was going to 
um, do these all these one-way roads, but really all they do is make things very confusing and complicated. All right. Where else? Where else? Where else? sure we have more than one Lafayette in this city. all of them. Looks like it most of them. One more hiding here. All right. Um, maybe I will start out with um, uh, da -da -da -da. Maybe we'll start out with, uh, an easy line, uh, which would be, going to Willow Corner, and then kind of bringing people to, Um, let's see, what have we, so we've got here, we've got the medical campus, uh, which is full. Um, we've got the police and the fire station. Uh, we've got residential here. Um, let's see, incineration, solar. I guess we'll kind of like pick people up, bring them down to Sunnyside is how we'll look at it. So we're doing this one, um, starting from here. And this road is a one-way road. Um, you know what? Let's see, this is also a one way. All right. Would it be faster if we went up to Ken? There's no connection there. All right. So I think we want to make this a two way. This is now, this is, but we're going to make it bigger because it's become that important. I'm going to temporarily grab these things here. We've got this emergency shelter. We're going to just put it right there for a minute. We've got this subway line. Uh, we're going to move it there for a second. Um, all right, let's grow this street. What if so right now we've got three in one direction. And one of them is a bus transit line. Could we do this? Would it fit? Right, this is six. If we did four. Okay, four fits. Can we get this guy? Mm -hmm. 
back where he needs to be. Was he facing the other way before? Here's the track, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna turn off all snapping. And it won't show me underground mode. See Daisy, that's not what I wanted. What if I moved him over here? Let's turn this stuff back on. Put him over here. Uh, what? You're listening to Second Moon Radio with All right, Dave come on. Thomas Hornbuckle. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to design right. certain representations. See if this will allow us to fix things here. Apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. Right, one, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start all thinking right. about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. Um, I'd like to the track now.
privacy. Don't want to end up in the water, that's for dang sure. Okay, that takes care of that. So now if we go back to the lines. Uh, can we reinsert a stop there? There we go. All right. That would never happen in real life. That would be expensive AF. All right. So back to what we're doing with buses. Um, buses. All right. So bus stops. So we're here. We're going to go doo -doo -doo, here, here. Um, Do we, how far do we go for this to get in? Let's go maybe, let's see, where are we? Let's see, these folks are pretty, pretty relatively close, but let's see. So maybe we come in and then we go to, closer in. So we'll go here. And then we'll go up a few blocks. Okay. We will keep going up to, let's see. Since it's so close to Willow Corner, maybe we go doo -doo -doo -doo. from there. Maybe we come out, go up, come to Kent Square. Um, all right, maybe we're bringing people over to work over here. So maybe we'll do a little bit up here, maybe like uh, here, and then maybe coming up here to work. All right, I think that's our first loop. Maybe we'll go up and back, and then we'll do one for in here. So let's grab our line tool. All right, and starting over here, we'll grab there. Heading up to here. Where did we go after that? We went over here. Here. All right, and then we'll come back. This is an out and back line, basically. And back to where we started. Let's take a look at what that line looks like. We're going up on the highway till we get there. Then we're going up on the highway to go over there. Yep. Um. Oh, whoopsie. We forgot to go here. Why 
I... Oh, to do a little bit on the highway, I guess. I waited a left turn to do that. I don't know, but we'll... I think we'll let it slide. That's fine. All right. Let me go ahead and unpause. Um... It's, I think that's close enough. That's okay. All right. So that's that's our first line. And so this will be... Um, let's see. Sunny side. Sunny side to, um... Solar plant, All right? Uh, we'll let, yeah, we'll let that be light blue. It's fine. It's not anywhere near another light blue. All right. So now, let's see if we were gonna do um, Pearl Brook. Let's see, let's see. Let's go sunny side. We're going up this way. Maybe let's hit the university. Um, and then, and people can get onto the subway if they want. Um, then we'll go up in towards Pearl Brook. All right, we'll come up this way. Let's see. Over. Then... one kind of close to that one over there so that people can switch lines if it makes sense maybe we'll go so maybe let me think maybe what we do is we get rid of these two here um and we do this one goes from there to there. Maybe there's another one there, like a maybe like some kind of a parking ride. You come over. And then, oh, we'll come to the uh, whatever this was over here, this industrial thing in the. Uh, And then I think let's see. So that would take people from here to there, there. Maybe we get something here, like in the middle here. Okay, go out this way, over, and then to over here, back. All right, we'll do that. And this will be red. All right, 
So we'll start off by coming out here. Are over. All right, let's bulldoze that guy. Where are we? Okay. Has anyone seen my keys? My keys. What? We're on the air? Oh, oh! Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't have said that if anyone finds them. Please, <laughs> don't, don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Thank you for listening to and we'll head back and on to our main feature story the commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood you can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local jarva mate or so my wife tells me that's good for business and good for the community thanks jim all right we got that line done. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it. All right. Money into local That's right. Economy. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. All right, we definitely need one that goes to um, one that goes over to the train station. Let's do our sunny side. Sunny side will be a loop. So we'll do that one as a clockwise and a counterclockwise. Um. Which means we need to upgrade this side of the road. All right, there we go. All right, so if we put one, let's see. There. Let's see, we'll go out here. That seems maybe too close, but let's see, we'll go here. There's no, those are bad, aren't they? Nah, I guess people can walk a little bit, that's fine. All right, and then we'll go Where's our train? So our train station's there. And then... All right, then we probably come, let's see. You know what? We'll come down here. We'll have one here. Then 
maybe like one more there. So wherever people want to go to get to the trams, it's pretty accessible. Um, all right, so we'll do that. All right, and this one we'll do one in each direction. So let's see, we will pick yellow. All right, we'll go up this way. Where did I go? I lost my thing. There we go. go so this is a uh, sunny side clockwise this one is um sunny side to Emerson Terrace. I did not spell that right. Okay. Um, so now we need our sunny side counterclockwise. So now, got that. Um, these taxis no these are all buses bus 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 <laughs> all right um i think i think i'm gonna have one out uh, one line that doesn't follow our hub and spoke which will be basically it'll go from here Maybe to so what's going on over here? Medical clinic. Oh, they're just ambulances. Um I'm trying to think because I kind of don't like that this whole middle is underserved. Um, I 
maybe what I'll so maybe what I'll do is kind of like an out and back with this guy. Um, let's see. Or may maybe so these guys can kind of like go from there to there. Um, I'm trying to think, what do exactly do I want to do? All right, I'm just gonna have the Pearl Brook Express that's gonna come down the middle and then meet up over here where it can get on on a, on a subway. So we'll do that. So let me grab, grab this and go. You know what? I'll tie it into both systems. So I'll have one part go here. And then I'll have another one go here. It'll be like right there. Perfect. All right, so let's get this done. Here, they can kind of get on the other one there. So, okay, this will be the Pearl Brook Express. All right, cool. All right, I'm going to take a look at utilization numbers in a minute. Um, but actually, that'll be next time. So um, this has been Eric playing City Skylines 2. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, if you have the means, please donate to my Extra Life campaign. That's raising money for hospitals. It's not for me. It's not. This is not like the normal Twitch thing where they're just raising money for themselves. I'm raising money for hospitals. Um, so thank you for that, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.